Hello, in this video uh, we will look at the concept of orthogonal designs or orthogonal design in Swedish, which is a very sim similar word. Um, orthogonality is an important term in experimental design and this essentially means that the covariance or correlation between estimated effects or coefficients in the model is zero. And this is a good thing since this means that no estimated effect will be correlated to or affected by the estimation of any other effect. Um, <clears throat> and uh, to check if a design is, is orthogonal, we can check the X transpose X. And X is the design matrix completed by a first column with only ones. And we check if X transpose X is a diagonal matrix. We can also check if the scalar product between uh, all the columns in the design matrix is zero. Uh, so that's an, an equivalent check if we want to do that. So let's take a look at this um, design. This is a two level factorial design matrix. Uh, you might recognize this. So we have factor A minus one plus one minus one plus one and B minus one minus one plus plus and then the AB interaction. So this is ordered in the standard order and then we complete it with a first column with only ones. So the question here is if this is an, an orthogonal design or not. So please pause the video and think a little bit about this and how you would go about uh, showing that this is orthogonal or not. Uh, and then we'll get back to the answer on the next slide. Okay, <clears throat> so as you can see, if we if we ca calculate x transpose x, we get a, this matrix uh, with only the value four on the diagonal. So this is a uh, diagonal matrix, <clears throat> and thereby we have shown that the this matrix uh, x completed by um, the um, the ones only. Uh, is diagonal. Sorry, I got confused. This matrix X, uh, which was our, our original matrix, completed by the, uh, this uh, column with only ones. If we transpose this, we get this matrix and we, we multiply them together, then uh, we can show that this is a diagonal matrix. Okay, let's move on to an example in the course book, which shows this orthogonality and also um, shows how the model parameters, the beta values, are estimated using these uh, x and y, x matrices and y columns and so on. In this example, <coughs> we have three process variables, temperature, pressure and concentration, and we have yield, and we want to know how these three process variables affect yield. In the example, the engineer is said to be interested in fitting a first order model only. So he or she is interested in only looking at the main effects, x1, x2, x3, and no interaction effects and so on. Uh, so we're gonna look at how to fit this in multiple linear regression. So we get the estimated values of the betas, beta zero, beta one, beta two, and beta three. Okay. So to do this, we take first the design matrix. So we have x1, x2, x3 here, and we have the the, the columns with the signs or the, or the levels of the, the factors. Notice that we have four um, uh, center points as well in this design. So we take this design and then we complete it with a column with only ones uh, as the first column. So we'll just get back to this soon. <clears throat> and remember that the least square estimate of the beta coefficients is, is given by this formula. So what we need, we need the x and the x transpose. And we want also to, uh, to take the inverse of that, multiply it with x transpose, and also multiply it by the y uh, response column vector. Okay, and that's to, to get our beta, uh, estimated beta values. Okay. 
so in the example uh, what they show they show the x matrix you see the the design matrix basically here completed with, with this first column with only ones we have the response vector uh, and we can calculate x transpose x uh, and we get this matrix now again uh, notice that x transpose x is diagonal so we have 12 8 8 8 here on the diagonal they also go and, and cal calculate x transpose y um, as this um, uh, column vector here 612 45 85 and 9 okay so now <clears throat> in order for us to estimate the beta values so beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 we use this formula so we have x transpose x we take the inverse of that times x transpose y and this is what they do here uh, also notice that when we have a diagonal matrix as we did in the last line so i'll go back uh, x transpose x is this 12 8 8 8 the the inverse of a diagonal matrix is very simple to calculate it's simply the inverse of the values of the diagonal so 1 over 12 1 over 8 1 over 8 1 over 8 and we multiplied this with the x transpose y column vector that we had previously and we get this vector of beta values 51 5.625 10.625 and 1.125 so the resulting fitted re regression model is then 51 plus 5.625 times x1 plus 10.625 times x2 plus 1.125 time, uh, times x3 also remember that these uh, <coughs> beta values in the two level factorial design setting is one half of the effect estimates for the corresponding effects or main effects of these factors okay and with that uh, i thank you so much for listening and i hope uh, that you got this concept of orthogonality and how why this is useful and how this is also helpful in calculating the effects and the inverses and so on thank you for listening Bye-bye.